Kelly Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm going to show you how I made Among Us cake balls. A few weeks back, I did a live stream showing you how to make one of the Among Us characters as a cake, and it was super cute. At the time, I had never played the game, but now I have, and I'm addicted. <laughs> that is one addicting game. I am so addicted that I decided to make a full video showing you how to make eight different characters in different poses from the game. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I recommend doing that right now. I post a new cake video every week. And if you like these Among Us cake balls, let me know by giving this video a like. So let's get started. I'm starting out with a round ball of cake dough, which is crumbled up cake mixed with some cream cheese buttercream. And it is absolutely delicious, you guys. <laughs> it has great texture. I cut the ball into quarters, and then I take one of those quarters, and I cut that chunk into quarters. So this is just a really easy way to separate the cake ball dough to make sure that all the chunks are similar in size. Then I just ball up each piece, and I set them on a baking sheet. Now it's time to shape each cake ball. The characters in the game are pretty simple. They have a rounded top and a flat bottom. So to create this shape, I just roll out the cake dough between my hands. And to get flat sides, I just roll the cake dough onto a clean table. And there you have it. Now I just repeat this as many times as I would like cake balls. So I roll it in a ball, roll it between my hands, roll it on the table, place it on the baking sheet and repeat. So now that they're shaped, I'm placing them in the fridge to chill for at least a few hours. I'm covering the first chilled cake ball in a layer of rolled out green modeling chocolate. Then I'm gathering and I'm pinching the excess chocolate and trimming it away with scissors. Now I'm blending the seams with sculpting tools. So if this cake ball wasn't chilled, I wouldn't be able to handle it like this. It would be just like a mushy mess, and it definitely wouldn't hold that shape. So chilling the cake balls before working on them is extremely important. Just so you know, I do let them get back to room temperature before I serve them. They are definitely better for eating at room temperature. All right, the entire cake ball is covered in green, so let's add some legs. I'm poking holes into foam board with my stork scissors, and that's just gonna create a little pilot hole, and then I can place the toothpicks in. Then I place small chunks of modeling chocolate onto the toothpick, and that's gonna represent the legs. If you have too much chocolate on there, all you have to do is snip it away. Now I'm carefully feeding the green cake ball onto the toothpicks. They do have pretty stubby legs. <laughs> To make it look like one solid piece, I just blend the legs into the body with a sculpting tool. The characters in Among Us don't have arms, but they do have a backpack. <laughs> so I'm making that out of a chunk of modeling chocolate that's cut down into a rectangle. I just brush a little water onto the back of the character and I place the backpack on, making sure that it's secure. For the mask, I'm adding a small bit of gray modeling chocolate in a rectangular shape, and it's got rounded corners. Green is my first victim, so I'm sculpting a crack in the mask. And I'll explain why the mask has a crack a little later. So let's move on to cyan. So just like with green, I'm covering a chilled cake ball in a layer of modeling chocolate, only this time it's the color cyan. In the game, each round you're given a role. So you're either a crewmate or you're an imposter. As far as I know, when you're a crewmate, you're a person, and when you're an imposter, you're an alien. If you're a crewmate, your goal is to complete tasks while trying to avoid getting attacked by an imposter. So if all the crewmates complete their tasks, then everyone in the crew wins the game as a group. On the other hand, if you're given the role of an imposter, then your goal is to attack crewmates while keeping your imposter identity hidden so that you don't get voted out by the other players. So one of the ways that an imposter can attack a crewmate is by opening its giant mouth and poking the crewmate right through the mask 
with its long, thin, pointy tongue. <laughs> so that's what's happening here with cyan and green. Onto the legs. So I'm placing toothpicks into the foam board and I'm adding the modeling chocolate legs. This time, one of the toothpicks is longer than the other. And that's because I'm feeding the longer toothpick through the jaw and into the top portion of Cyan's head to help hold it up. The shorter toothpick only needs to hold up and support that jaw. Now all I have to do is blend the legs into the body and attach the modeling chocolate backpack. I have to be super careful with this one because it's super fragile. The imposters also have sharp pointy teeth, so I'm attaching super small modeling chocolate cones all around its mouth. They stick pretty well, but when they don't, all I do is brush a little water onto the chocolate and that'll do the trick. I really think that the red velvet cake ball makes for a great mouth color. It's a nice deep red. Now I'm adding a few hand-painted details, starting with the masks. So I'm painting a gray oval on each, and then a white oval over top of that one to represent a reflection. I think that these guys are really cute. It's probably because they don't have any arms. It looks so funny when they run around. <laughs> Sometimes their hands appear, but it's pretty rare. In the game, they're simple solid color characters, but they do have shadows on them, so I'm painting those in too. I'm using a drop of food color that's the same color as the character, and I dilute it with a clear extract. This will paint on like watercolor, so it's translucent and it looks like a shadow. So I have cyan as the imposter and green as the crewmate. Now let's add the finishing touches to this scene, which is Cyan's tongue. I decided to make it with a piece of raw spaghetti painted with black food color. I'm feeding the spaghetti through the back of Green's head, through the cracked part of the mask, and into Cyan's mouth. Even I'm surprised I got this right on the first go. <laughs> Here I'm cutting a chilled cake ball in half because I'm using one cake ball to represent two characters. So first I'm covering the top half in a layer of pink modeling chocolate because pink is only gonna be seen from the waist up. I'm setting pink aside for a minute and now I'm covering the other half of the cake ball, which is the bottom half in a layer of blue modeling chocolate. But this time I don't wanna cover the flat side of the cake ball because guess what? Blue has been chopped in half. <laughs> Blue is the crewmate and pink is the imposter. Blue does need some legs, so here I'm blending those into the body. I'm adding a little white bone that sticks out of the center of Blue's body, and then I'm giving Blue a backpack, and pink needs a mask. This scene between pink and blue is an example of another way that an imposter can attack a crewmate, which is by crawling through the vents. Everyone calls it venting. So in the game, if you're an imposter, you can crawl through the vents and travel from room to room. This is a great way to surprise a crewmate, attack them, and then vent to another room so you don't get caught. <laughs> I'm placing pink onto a black rectangle that represents the vent, and then I'm resting a vent cover on the back of pink. It's as if pink is popping their head out. It's so sneaky. You know what? I really like the way that blue turned out. So I want to add some more casualties to this scene. <laughs> Let's add lime and red. I'm covering two more cake balls in modeling chocolate colored lime and red. I shape the chocolate and then I cut one end with a knife. Then I blend in the legs. So that means that pink got blue, lime, and red. Pink is having a field day. <laughs> 
Pink and Cyan are clearly winning this one. All right, and on to the last scene I'm going to create, which is of orange and purple. Orange is the imposter and purple's the crewmate. When you play Among Us, you can have up to 10 players playing at once, and the max number of those 10 players that are imposters is three. You can also play with two or one imposter. That means that most of the time, you're given the role of a crewmate. When I'm chosen as an imposter, I will tell you what, I can't handle it. <laughs> I am not kidding, it freaks me out. When you're an imposter, you have to like go in the chat and lie to all the other players and pretend you're not an imposter and I'm so bad at it. My adrenaline goes up and I either talk too much or I don't talk enough and then the other players always guess that it's me. <laughs> Actually, I get accused of being an imposter a lot, even when I'm a crewmate. I'm sus no matter what I do. <laughs> Purple is placed onto the legs leaning forward slightly, and that's because this is an example of when an imposter stabs a crewmate in the back. These cake balls are so true to the game. Just when you think Orange has got your back, he stabs it. I made a tiny gray chocolate knife and I'm placing it onto Purple's back with just a little bit of water. It's a cute little knife. Now that they're all sculpted, it's time to paint the masks and then the shadows on the remaining characters. I love these little cake ball characters, but they are missing something. Hats! <laughs> In the game, there are a bunch of different hats that you can choose from, so let's dress these guys up. Cyan, you're getting an egg hat. Pink, let's go with the plant hat. Green gets the bird nest. I really like those tiny chocolate eggs. Let's go yellow party hat for purple. And last, the cheese hat for orange. And there you have it, a group of Among Us cake balls. I love them all. I can't pick a favorite. You know I've got to cut these cake balls. One by one. Who's first? I vote Cyan. Who's the imposter now? <laughs> it's me, I am. If you like these cake balls, please give this video a like. It really helps us out. And if you aren't subscribed yet, subscribe now. I post a new cake video every week. Now seriously guys, which of these Among Us cake balls is your favorite? It's hard. I think I'm leaning towards purple.